that sun is bright. Let's try and get me in the shot here. There we go. Can we get the sun in there too? Oh. How's everybody doing? Holy, that beard is going crazy. Thought I'd get one last walk in for the end of the year. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a, a recap and reflect on the year that was. Tell you guys about some of the things that I really enjoyed or some things that were kind of unexpected. And uh, of course, we'll talk a bit about the videos I made throughout the year and some highlights with those. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoy coming along for this little outing, jaunt, walkabout, hike. So I discovered something interesting up on uh, Piper Creek. It's just up that direction. And I uh, made a map. Here, let's stop and we'll check on that map. I know the area, so I'm just going to have to use a map to pinpoint it. Try and get it where get the sunlight to work for us. The Pakistani Stadium, hostile area, UN controlled safe zone. Wait a second. It's not the map I need. This is a screenshot from Black Hawk Down. Hold on here. Let me check the other pocket. There. So, where that pin is. We're going to go check out a uh, little thing on Piper Creek. So we've got um, the mall, the intersection, the uh, large building with parking lot, boop, boop, boop. And uh, the way the words are oriented, that's north-south to true north. Magnetic north will be a little bit off to the side, about 14 degrees to the northeast, or 14 degrees east of true north. So we're going to go right here right now. Pretty much straight east to the pin to Weird Beard. As you can see, I've already got some coordinates in another one of my pockets. I already wrote down on a piece of paper just in case I were to, let's say, lose the map. Plus, I have capabilities on my device to Google it and all that jazz. Let's try and find a way. This is one of those spots that, however long ago, a whole bunch of trees were planted. You can see all the way down that way to here to try and get more trees in the area. But it uh, doesn't look like they're growing too good. My friend uh, Tom actually did a good video about just going willy-nilly planting any old tree. It's not always good for the area. Sometimes you gotta let nature take care of it. Looks like all the coniferous is actually doing pretty good. It'll be neat to see in the summertime how everything else, because all the deciduous is looking pretty... Actually, this one's got some size to it. All the deciduous, though, is looking pretty sparse. There's a little more further south, and that's about it. There's part of the creek just down that way. So somewhere we'll find an insertion point. So at least it's pretty nice out today. We're thinking back to a video where I was at work trying to get that generator going. I think it took like four tries to finally get that diesel generator going. It was like minus 25 out or whatever. It was cold that day or night. <laughs> So just to 
add on to what I had mentioned about having multiple ways to find this location, which is really easy peasy, right? But uh, not just having redundancies to find a location, but to make sure people can find you. The very first video I ever saw good old friend Jack D do, he was talking about safety on the trails and having a plan and leaving a note and making sure people knew exactly where you were going and what path you're taking. Right, I'm getting closer to the creek here. I'm just not quite sure where that point's going to be exactly. It's a little slick. I'm going to go down by this trees here to see if I... There we go. There's a branch. Oh, sliding. There. Ah, I think I found it. So... Partly what I'm exploring is there's some people that for a long time the city grew around their land. Very similar back in the day, like my family, they settled and the city grew around the property. And then, like with my great grandpa's land and his brother's land, it was just annexed, you know, done. But this place, not much, oh I see some of it's gone into disrepair, but all the way around their property and zigzagging, crossing over the creek a few times here. We've got this big chain link fence with barbed wire on top. It's like, okay. And environmentalists don't want the road built, let's say basically from over there and somehow crossing the creek in green space and somehow that way connecting one part of the city to another. You've either got to go north or you got to go south and around. They say they don't want to disrupt animals. They don't want to disrupt the wildlife. Well, what about putting a chain link fence zigzagging this way and that all around a creek and crossing over a creek with barbed wire on top? Wouldn't that disrupt the animals? It's been three months now. The, the Ruik or Ruik, Ruik. Still a, still a, a great knife. And one of my favorite things is usually made in China, you know, these Chinese knives. The bill clip is one of the first things to come loose and it's been a solid knife and it stayed nice and sharp. Boy, did I feature a fair bit of Chinese. Some of it was just awful, some of it was decent. You know, that one Walmart folding saw axe combination that was interesting that it actually worked as good as it did and that's actually still in my friend's trailer for whenever she takes it out camping she'll have that Walmart goodie to help her out it's actually kind of nice putting around in here oh hammer huh. I just wanted to show you guys some of these What? You also got suck. So this actually ties in well with that last clip there of the survival kit all spread out. But the question posed to me from Rod at Kwood Survival was, "What's your favorite or all-time favorite survival tool?" And for me, it would be a knife, because a knife opens up things, it cuts things, it dismembers things, it kills. A knife can do many things that we can't do with our bare hands. A knife can turn something into a tool. You know, you can take a knife, piece of wood, you got a tool. And then, just because I love you guys so much, you got some... New stuff for 2020. Whoa! But wait, there's more. Gonna be trying out some throwing knives. Ooh. And uh, this guy here. Found this at the local Canadian Tire. So, this should be interesting. It's actually got this really cool coating on it. Whoa! <laughs> So it happens when you're not paying attention to what you're doing. Anyhow, 
Uh, there's this really cool coating on it. Uh, son of a... Uh, well, just as long as it doesn't bleed. I wanted to make a line in the snow with true north. And now, let's try and find a bearing. We'll get a fix on magnetic north. Now, keep in mind, I've got things, you know, the phone isn't perfect, the bracelet, my watch. You know, I've got a belt buckle, a pocket knife. There's all kinds of things that could be fouling it up. This isn't scientific by any means. But it's to show you that magnetic north and true north aren't the same. It's not the the straightest diagram. You know, I didn't use a, a string or anything. But there's true north to the North Pole, and there's Magnetic North. It's actually just kind of nice here. Get away from the buzz of the big city. It's amazing, just the last couple years here, how many trees have grown and grown, but then they snap off from one big windstorm and they're hanging precariously. One of the very first videos I saw from my friend uh, Jim Timber, he was talking about the widow makers and the, the beech trees in uh, Poland. You can see a big tree has fallen and taken out that part of the fence. So I did mention there, my friend, uh, she has this trailer, this holiday trailer. She originally had a tent trailer, but the thing leaked the first time she took it out camping took it to the dealership they said you know hey we'll work on it but she decided she just wanted to get into something that wasn't gonna leak so she went with the hardwall trailer that you see in my uh, Chamber Creek video so yeah she upgraded changed trailers got this one now and uh, trying it out so I to eat so I to drink yeah there you go buddy that's good for you and uh, whatever you do don't open the door, okay? Alright? So, meet Mouse. She's Squishy's furry sister. I guess you could say it's a big sister. But, uh, anyhow, her owner asked me if I could share this video clip with you guys. Well, this is quite the setup. <laughs> I don't know which is cooler. Darth Vader or Yoda. They had all kinds of cool inflatables here. Music, Santa's mailbox, or letters to Santa. So how many of you magnet fish or do magnet fishing? I got into that this year. So, or met some new friends on the YouTube, Magneto, he got some pretty cool videos. Tried a seven day challenge, tried to do $20 worth of food for seven days, ended up being a $22.13 with tax, and uh, made it seven days, but also made it hungry. Some people like to go biking in the winter time. Twenty nineteen. It's a hundred years since the end of World War One. It's seventy-five years since the invasion, you know, D-Day. At least so that precipitated the end of World War II. Just in a few days it'll be twenty twenty. I don't do New Year's resolutions. What about you guys? Give me some feedback down in the comments there. Or ask me questions or whatever. Tell you one thing. Well, I've been buggered up here waiting on the doctors to try and repair me and test and try this and that and more tests and MRI and tests and CAT scan and tests. Oh, man. I haven't had much for cash flow coming in. And uh, Mr. Jack D, he does a great, great video. And uh, the way he presents it, 
remember watching it for the first time thinking, no, can this really can this really be what he's talking about, right? And I'm not going to say anymore because you've got to just watch it and, and just see how he flows with it. But it's definitely a good video worth watching. A few people here on YouTube that, uh, like me, they love food and they'll do cooking and so on. And they also love the outdoors. And uh, I'm trying to remember her name off the top of my head here. It's a, uh, Ariella... Oh, shoot. I don't want to ruin her name. <laughs> Tiandru Wadi or something like that. And, uh, Bears and Butters. Oh, look at me with my memory fading on me here. But, uh, both those channels, they, uh, they love the outdoors, getting outside, cooking, food. Oh, exactly what I'm about. Now, for myself, I usually split up the, uh, the cooking and the random stuff on my other channel but that's just my my having fun channel there's some uh, family some children just off to a two o'clock position they're enjoying some tobogganing enjoying the outdoors now because of YouTube's crackdown on anything to do with children we'll just have to censor that here we'll show you some vehicles instead so, I just spent a few minutes browsing, about 10 minutes, browsing through my phone. Oh, that's really, that's really great. I love it when people don't clean up after their pets. Ah, look, there's someone with a dog right there. I'm on to you. Uh, let's see if I can poke them. Uh, sorry, got a little distracted there. So I spent about 10 minutes going through my phone trying to figure out what really happened in 2019. There's a lot of negative stuff. Found something funny. Trump was uh, accused of being a Russian agent slash operative by the New York Times, but he denied it. And uh, he got uh, impeached, but by the time they get all that process through, there'll be another election. Um, let's see. Oh, there was that cool eclipse thing earlier in the year. I uh, tried to record it. We we're all at work going crazy over the comms. Holy cow, look at that, uh, look at that moon. It's changing color. Holy eclipse. Yeah, not a lot of work got done during that time period. <laughs> About half an hour or so of the night that we all just kind of parked the vehicles, stopped what we were doing, took a peek at it. That was a pretty cool event to catch. <laughs> 